you guys can see my uh, uh, monitor, the serial port monitor. Okay. Yes. So basically, this is the reading. This this value is the reading of the uh, analog to digital conversion. This is you know the converted stuff. You guys were having two point nine something and. Uh, something around 0 0.04 or something, okay, when it's zero. So this is basically the reading when it's zero, okay? So what what kind of, uh, to look at this this value, we're going to the, you know, who, uh, using the mouse and just go over this uh, variable called uh, normalized ADC result, okay? And we can see that in the debugger, okay? But now we're gonna see it, you know, without without any debugging or stuff. Uh, so automatically, what's 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 converted will go to the screen, to go to the serial over the UART. Okay. So here is uh, this is our you know different runs. I'm just clicking on the green arrow. Okay. Now if I put if I connect B5.5 to 3.3. .3, we should read one now, I'm sorry, or 3, point, 3 volt, 3.299, 3.98 and so on. Okay, this is what I what I wanna see. A message that shows to you this is, okay, this is the output of the ADC and the output of the ADC is some number. Okay, forget about these dots. I don't want to see these dots. Okay, now what you what you should do exactly in your code, I will I will explain now. Okay, so basically you you don't need this uh, four lines anymore. We don't have the lid, we don't want the lid. But instead, you will have some code here that takes this variable, this float variable. It's a float, okay, or double. And convert it to string in a char array, something like, you know, string of whatever equal to, uh, if this is for example now is uh, 2.299, uh, 2 it will be something like two, then point, I'm sorry, two, Point. Nine. Nine. Okay. And to do that, to convert a float or double number into a chart array like or string array like this, we use S printf. Okay. So this S printf takes three arguments. Actually, not not even two. One is a, is a char array. So you must define a char array, like what, call it whatever, a string or call it, call it Mustafa, you know, call it whatever, any name. And it's, of course, it's, it's, it's a dimension should be large enough, you know, for to carry out, you know, at least four numbers like this, four digits. This is one thing. Takes also another argument, which is uh, the variable itself that will be converted. The third argument is defining the type of this variable, you know, whether it's a float or double, you know, or even integer. Okay. So you must define this to just look at uh, Google and you will understand what I'm saying, what I'm what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is this part should do that. Then after the conversion. Okay, you start sending, sending or transmitting uh, 
كاركتر باي كاركتر تو يو ارت سو يو ويل سند فيرست تو زين سند ذا دوت زين سند تو ناين زين سند ناين This is what I mean by character by character. Oh, so you have to send them individually. You can't send of it all course. at once. Of course. Why? Okay. Because each one of those is eight bits. And the maximum that you can send over a serial board in one time is eight bits, my friend. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that's a messed up. Okay. So and when you send it first, as usual, you must reach sure first. Check first that the uh, transmit buffer is empty. Then send this. Then check again. The transmit buffer is empty. We must do that check each time. Okay? Before any transmission. So it should be easy. Okay. So that's in that part. In the interrupt service routine. Of course, in the here or, you know, you can do that, the configuration of the UART. You know, there are some steps that you should do. You can do them, for example, in 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 a, uh, in a function like this. So call it for for example, void uart setup, whatever initialization, whatever you call it. Okay, and what here, you know, the steps. What are the steps that we did before for the UART? Except number one, we don't need receive. So don't you know initialize the bit as a receive, as a receive bit. So you have two bits, one for bins, one to configure as a transmit and one to configure as a receive. Okay, from your art zero, for example. Receive. I don't know, yeah. Number two, we don't need the interrupt part. Okay, so whenever we have, uh, we have what? Whenever we go to this interrupt service, the ADC interrupt, we do the UART. Okay, we don't do it on, on a separate. You can, of course, but I don't know. I don't. It will, it will make your your code very complex. Don't so don't do that. Okay. We don't. Okay. Should be easy, I know. Thank you. 